Hi guys, it's Rampant FM. Today we're going to have a closer look at the dynamic system new to Football Manager 2018. So we're just going to have a wee look here. So first of all we're looking at match cohesion. So they're some way short of operating as a unit. I don't know if that's because of new players or the lack of match practice. Looking at the social core groups, obviously you've got your more experienced players at the top, the likes of uh, Lee Wallace, Kenny Miller, Vice Captain, Captain, whatnot, and some of the older players like Bruno Alves. We've also got your secondary groups. They seem to be some of the newer players that have came in. They all sort of, you know, it's a couple of the Portuguese guys. And then you've got the others, which seem to be not part of any of the groups. So I don't know how that affects happiness and whatnot. We'll have a quick look at everything. We'll go to happiness, so there's more layers of the player's happiness it looks like, there's obviously training, treatment, I guess that's from manager, club, management and playing time. Okay, so that's that's interesting. So if they're unhappy with their playing time you can actually check that. Obviously it's just a small look about, I would have to see throughout a season what it would be like. And then obviously you've got your hierarchy, your, your sort of leader for the pitch, or leaders in the pitch are obviously higher. Some of your team leaders are approaching. So some of the team leaders are approaching the end of their career, so if they leave there might be a leadership void. Okay, we would have to see how that works out, obviously. So go back into this. So everyone's quite happy. Also, if you're looking at managerial support, you've got a strong influence over a number of the players. Well, that's good to know, being the manager. So anyway, guys, that's the video. Um, just a quick one today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.